It seems to me that what we need is a protective legal shield for teachers, as they have in yes I'll call them progressive states in the US. Of course my definition and President Obama's view of progress probably don't coincide by light years. It's time we set the agenda, not the liberal abolitionists, who would willingly accept feral children on every street corner, as a price worth paying for maintaining the integrity of liberal orthodoxy in education and youth policy. This type of law specified that a teacher can neither be sued nor face criminal charges for incidents which take place under his or her duty to the employer, school or pupils, provided that he she has made every attempt to comply with state law. This includes an absolute right of self-defense. The law does not indemnify abuse of ant form. Of course, progressive states still retain the options of moderate corporal punishment, Saturday school, and other necessary sanctions. But as Plato asked us, to whom do you take a young horse for training the horse trainer, or the rabble in the market square? 